What's up guys, Don here. So, I am doing the tutorial where I promised it. I've already recorded something for this, but I'm really lazy at editing the video, so I might as well just, you know, get it on with this. So, uh, I'm gonna cover everything from here on with the intersection. So that was actually one of the topic that I was trying to to talk about before, but I couldn't really talk about it. So intersections is when things go like this. There's a circle. So these are all different sticks, just so that we can all be clear. So these are all different sticks. You can connect them like so. And this, when you turn down the opacity of, of all these sticks, there's this intersection they become circle so that's really prominent so if you're trying to make a sleeves like this one sorry about that if you're trying if you can see the holes popping out something like that um, if you're trying to make a sleeve like so if it's really perfect it's okay it works fine all the angles and I'm not trying to say that it doesn't have to be like this but it would look better if the the sleeve is not touching the intersection this part here so let me just get another and then make it red and then so for just in sig you know signifying which is which so this part is for the sleeves it's different for each part it's not always the same so it's different like for the belt for the the sh shoulder or stuff you know padding is uh, whatever it's called elbow padding sheen or gauntlet or whatever it is so it's different so it goes like this and yeah it actually depends on the design so if it really does go beyond the, the elbow uh, I won't be insisting like so like I don't I don't mind if it if that's how long the sleeve is so yeah but if it goes like this then fine one another thing why it shouldn't be over the the lap thing you know the intersection is because sometimes when you're animating and you want the hand to be in front of you know some weird angle you're gonna put this in front and then whoops what the hell is this i didn't mean to do this so yeah that also happens so in here so it's behind so if you want it to be in front nothing weird is going on it doesn't look weird so yeah so that's it for that part now we move on to the legs the elbows now of course I've already made some uh, well not really elbows yet I'm sorry we're <laughs> moving on to this part where the wrist and the sheen or whatever that's called is or the brace whatever this blue thing is called so you can tell that it is uh, I made the hands bigger that probably is bothering you just move that there so you're probably wondering why it overlap when I just said you shouldn't be overlapping now for the forearm the forearm is this part it's all right to overlap but don't overdo it because sometimes it's just stupid okay so if this happens it's okay if you know it goes in front it goes in in the back like so it doesn't bother you that much i mean in this angle it seems like it's all right okay if it goes like this you can just easily fix it like that but if you insist to using this it looks like the elbow is you know he's doing something like with his elbow or some you know something like that so with the wrist uh, just make sure that if you move it like this it doesn't you know show other stuff around it what I mean by that I should have just took an example but I didn't so here you go an example oh, okay not that one this one so an example let me just copy and paste it here Put middle so an example is like this if I move this like this uh, there's an overlapping like here so it doesn't really you know <laughs> show that that he's doing an open palm or whatever this hand is going to do but if you're making this longer I guess I guess it doesn't really work well and yeah it should be just around here not like overlapping like that just 
just be careful with you, you know overlapping it you could probably fix this by make making the wrist thing bigger but that doesn't really fix the the issue with you know um stuff like that so why did i put hit here this is my hit you can uh have it from the version 3 pack and everything that i have been showing you here except for this one and this ones those are from another people so i should i can't give them to you um i'm just showing how you know it should look like something like that it would look like if you do it something like this so hit is almost like i'm proud of this because i've made a lot of complicated design with this so you can tell that the elbow is, there's a lot of engineering shit going on with that so yeah and the hands is all right the the, the elbow padding it's like it's really complicated like how did he do that this is a different approach that I tried to do with uh, Cell because I made also Cell like uh, his elbow like that so you can disassemble this and figure it out yourself there's a lot of things going on in that and then his torso also there's a lot of things going on with that like so so yeah like this one also like whatever this cold is because there's these things a uh, little tiny thing gray lines that goes like that so yeah there's a lot of things happening there so why do i have this kind of thing here like this piece shit hippie thing now i have that there so that you can also use this as a method to do an elbow padding so let me just do the same thing make this uh something like that and as you can tell the ankle here it's kind of a whoa what's happening there Don can you explain that there so let me just go in with the shoes let's start from the bottom here so if I if I have the feet move like this like at some part when he's running or something it looks weird I know so you can just fix that by putting it at the back double clicking it and putting it at the back so you have it at the back and now the sole or whatever this is called is uh, covered now you can just put it in the front and if you want to put this on the front so nothing really is like weird now but now if I put this down it is covered with this so you have to you know do this and you're pretty much in the same spot where you just started so yeah it's really difficult to do shoes I mean it, it, there's no really perfect way why not just animate a character that is barefooted or something I don't know I'm just kidding so you have to deal with that you can also try and make your own shoes perfectly so I don't mind so let's go with uh, the knee knee cover or whatever so yeah so after this I'm gonna cut this video and we'll move on to the other segment and I'll upload it like probably next week so here you have the the this is the circle you have to divide it into three parts and something like that so it depends on the design it doesn't have to be like three parts if you have a, a shoulder padding like diamond or not diamond then i'm fine with that so you have to put it there as a reference and then put the origin of whatever you're connecting to here and then put the other end like that and there you go now if you want to it doesn't it's not necessarily again this is just you yourself your design whatever you want to do with the design you can do this this is for that you can adjust it whenever it turns badly or something that you don't want it to be in that particular place so yeah uh, knee pads now knee pads when you legs doesn't go that way so obviously that's not a mistake so if i just go and make this all into one uh back to opacity there you go so it's it's go do doing fine it's doing its work now if you have or if you want to that's why i made this like this if you want your knee pads to go like this when he he moves his legs and fine that could go like that so 
yeah there's also another uh, kind of trick that I've made with that uh, the rope should be connected to here let's just say that this is the rope that is uh, you know connecting this shit so there you go so the rope will always be like that I don't know <laughs> How would you fix that? I mean, you can just make maybe cover it, put another stick that would cover it when it goes like this. So yeah. So you can have that. Uh, disconnect this, put this here, and then connect this here. Now you will know why I did that. And what if this is? Uh, uh, let me just make it static. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go, and do the same thing. So this is static, and let me just connect it here, like so. So everything works fine until you move this around. Now, of course, it's not the way you want it to be, but when you move it with Alt Control, it rotates. So you don't really need to have this here, and you don't need to connect it to here. And now uh, that only works if you have alt control and selected only one because if you double click this and alt control well it still works but it's gonna do some like something like that you know like spazzes here and there so yeah you have to consider that so that's it for now we'll move on to the other part